hello everyone welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to share with us three psalms you should read before bedtime to thank god for saving you for protecting you throughout the day and equally asking to protect you as you go to sleep by the time you read these psalms every day you see how doors will open for you you see how god will protect you from the hands of the enemies from the eyes of the enemies from obstacles that will take your life away. The first of the psalm is Psalm 100. Most of us don't read our psalms. Make your psalms your friend, and you see that things will gradually change for good for you. Even if you don't want to read other Bible uh, verses or portions, read your psalms. Make sure that every day you read your psalms, especially the ones I share on the channel. Read them, you will see how your testimony will start flowing. So the first one is Psalm 100, a hymn of praise. Remember, I always say that before you ask God for anything, praise Him for the ones He has done for you. When you praise Him, He will be encouraged, He will be moved to do another one for you. Just like when your father gives you money and you say, oh, daddy, thank you, and you bless your father, you pray for him, you see, he'll be glad to give you another thing. And whenever you request for another thing, he'll be glad to give it to you. That is how God is. When you praise him for the little he has done for you, he will do more than you expect or expected from him. So I'm going to be reading some verses of that, the Psalm 100, then I'll go to another Psalm because of our time. Psalm 100 says, Sing to the Lord all the world. Worship the Lord with joy. Come before him with happy songs. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we belong to him. We are his people and he is, and we are his folk, his flock rather. Enter the temple gates with thanksgiving. Go into the court with praise. Give thanks to God and praise him. This is exactly what I'm saying. Always praise God, no matter the situation, no matter how you find your life, no matter how tough things are. There is always a trial time. There is always a trying time. There is always a time for temptation. There is always time for God to check your faith in Him. Remember Job in the Bible. Use that as your backup point or use Him as a counterpoint whenever you're praying. If God can, if Job can be tempted that way and He still stand till the last day of his life praising god telling no telling people that without god he's nothing that nobody can force him to worship the devil even when devil you know showed a uh, mock team for his predicaments and all that he did he didn't just change his faith towards god so no matter the situation you are facing always believe that god will one day answer your prayers and wipe away your tears and those tears will not remain the tears of joy. Remember Abraham in the Bible. Remember Sarah. There are many people you should look at and know that God still answers prayers. Don't look at the time. Don't look at the age you are. Just believe that God is always there to bless you, to protect you, and to provide thy own needs. All you have to do is to have faith even to the last day of your life. Still believe that God will do miracle and surely he will do it. You must rejoice as a child of God. So another psalm you should pray or you should read before you sleep is Psalm 103. I'm still going to read some uh, uh, verses of it. The love of God, that is the caption of the psalm. Praise the Lord my soul, all my being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul and do not forget how kind he is. Oh God, this one got me. If you know God like the way I always tell you guys, you will never lack. You will never think twice whenever you see any find yourself in any tough situation. You will always believe that it's a temptation, is a setup for the a devil to for you to renounce God, for you to abandon God, for you to say God does not exist. Whenever you see any situation you feel that it's too much for you, get down on your knees, call upon the heaven. If you know how to worship God through singing, sing till you are tired of singing and watch how God will send his angels. To come and wipe away your tears if you can worship him to praying pray to you are tired of praying and watch how god will bless you and give you strength to fulfill every of your dream god is still in the business of blessing people 
if you believe type amen and tell god to bless you before the end of this year the god i serve have never disappointed me and i know he's not going to disappoint any of my subscribers okay yes so another verse of it say he forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases he keeps me from the grave and blesses me with love and mercy if most of you if God can open your third eye to see what he has been preventing you, to see how he has been protecting you, you will always be grateful. You even convert all the hairs on your body to mat to praise him. Most of us don't know what God does to us or what, how God protects us in our absence. Because you don't have money, you now feel that God has abandoned you. God is not helpful. God does not love you. Money is not everything. That you are alive today is the more reason you should, is more than enough reason to thank God. Many people are in the hospital bed. Many people breathe, not from their nose, through pipe, through oxygen. Do you know how much oxygen is in a day? Please always thank God. Always be grateful to God before you sleep because you don't know what He has done for you throughout the day. The battles He fought for you throughout the day so always be grateful no matter the situation so the last but not the least please you read it down because of our time i will not have time to read it down the last but not the least is psalm 104 in praise of the creator always praise god praise the lord my soul oh lord my god how great you are you are clothed with majesty and glory oh god you cover yourself with light you have spread out the heavens like a tent and built your home on the waters above. You use the crowd as your chariot and the ride of the winds of the wind. You use the winds as your me messenger and the flashes of lightning as your servants. God can use, if the way God blesses people, it just happens like a flash of light. Your story will change automatically. You know the way God, uh, the wind blows. If God wants to change your story, it will just look as if the wind will just blow you from this condition to another condition. That is why when God is performing miracle, the, the way it will happen, people will start saying all manner of things. But if you know the God you serve, you know that God is a miracle working God. There is nothing that is impossible in the sight of God. There is nothing God cannot do. If you believe God and trust in Him, Believe you me, you will not be crying. Some of you will say, I have prayed. I am tired of praying. You don't need to get tired of praying. The devil is trying you. The devil is tempting you. These people that, that is into witchcraft, they don't sleep. Oh. They walk around the clock looking for who to torment. As they are tormenting you, they will keep watching if your life is changing. So they will go and do it again. Then why won't you praise your God for protecting you? Why won't you praise your God for keeping you alive? Despite all, all, all odds, despite every situation you've passed through, you've never lacked. You still wonder how you're able to feed. This is what God can do. So please worship God with all your soul, with all your life, with everything in you, and see him change your story for good. So don't forget to read the Psalms, Psalm 100, Psalm 103, and Psalm 104 every night. Thank him for all he has done for you. Remind him to protect you as you sleep. Remember, it's through sleep that the enemy steals our life, steals our glory. Tell God to protect you as you sleep and share or read his word and watch him do that and more than what, what you expect. Okay? Yes, I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one.